I think it's all in in Yiddish, right? Is that Yiddish? Yeah. I don't know Yiddish. Yeah. <laughs> I know a little bit of Hebrew, but no Yiddish. You spoke from Levertov, huh? Hey, you get this, huh? Like it was Levertov. Uh, what was this? So Zemel came from here? Yeah. Now, I was told that they came from Kirillus. Is that the same city? Kirillus? Kirillus, or in Lublin, but it was called, I think, Kirillus. The, the Zemels that came back in the uh, 1800s. You see, Joe, around Lublin, you have Robertov, you have a lot of small towns mm -hmm. of the Jewel That they call Shtetls? A lot of small town. So Kirillus was one of those and, and Lubartov was, okay. The Pinche Honig Bloom. Ah. Hmm. Oh, this is... Huh. What are all of these? Are these like telling about people who live there? Or? This is a Mashayat. Mashayat was the beginning. Okay. That's everything. Levato. You know, my parents lived in Lublin. Yeah. And I killed him. Yep. How did you escape? I could tell you. Look, beautiful people. <laughs> The names are here, I think. I think the, the names. Moishe, Kolcher, Vidivai, Leiser, Tolkitab, Yasu Zandestein, Avon Leiser, Moishe Fischer, Voyala Emgi. But Voyala Emgi, yeah, I can't be. Lovely. And these are also names of right here. A lot of people killed in Lublin. Yeah. A lot of deportation. deportation. But, but, but over here also there's yeah. there. A lot of deportation and never know that the people killed. Maybe mm. in Auschwitz, maybe Maidan and Lublin. Lublin, they have the second bigger a concentration camp. A million people killed. Wow. Ted Zelaye killed in 1942. Jakob Reinberg, deportation by the Goldstein. Killed him. Motto Ackerstein, deportation, Marshall Fishbein. But you don't know any names here because, I mean, you were little, right? I mean, Maybe somewhere else I'll find somebody. So beautiful people. You see, a lot of women often name from the husband. Yeah. And you can find uh, Suga Zonestein. Oh, deportation. Pay women deportation. Revolutionary reportation, Herschel Weiss, deportation, Janko Zeidman, Schmidt. Beautiful people. Not very much now, Michael. Hi, get the spook. We we found it. We, 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 yeah. It's Lubartova. You know the people? You know the people? No? I've room Honig's plum. Oshki Honig's plum.
lot of people have Polish name, uh, Sochowolski. You get this one? I read this. Oh, you did? Oh. Oh, the houses. Oh. You see, it was too like I don't know what it. You see, you were born in this country. Yep. Yeah. Most Jew is born outside Poland, mm -hmm. outside Czech. Outside the German, they can understand what's happened there. You feel this? Yeah. Just everything from young people, very young people. Sonia hmm? Sporsky. Shit. The Sapo was also. Really? Jew in the Second War. This is the number 75. The name is Liza Zuckerman. You look at the time? Uh, do you, does anybody look familiar or? So are these stories about the different people? Or? I, sure, you have to read those everything. You can find something and you read it. Now, what is this, uh, school? This is Oh, after after we the war. Name is Castle. I learned with the, with the Jewish children. Like a yeshiva. Yeah. What's that? This is was Hitler done killed. To live somewhere. Not a one name. Hmm. Well, how how old were you when when you were uh, in Poland? Nineteen. Okay. So you probably wouldn't remember many anyway, because ah, uh, don't forget, the most Jew lived around Lublin and Lublin. Hmm. You have in Poland before the war three million Jew in Poland. So it's a big city, so like what? Yeah. So what? You can, you have to read, maybe yeah, I go find somebody. Yep. Yeah. No, but that, that take time, this. Yeah. You see, the same name you can have. I have here Levkovich, my cousins is Levkovich. Or that this is, I don't know, so this is my family, it's not my family. Yeah. You have Lara Levkovich here in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of years ago, I called the real estate man. Mm -hmm. I see Lefkovich. You know what happened? Uh, maybe 20 years ago. 
in the telephone book, I find Vishnya, the name from my older sister from Warsaw. Mm -hmm. I think had five songs, maybe I one song is the it is Vishnya. Lift the Levitan, maybe you know Levitan. Yeah, I know a little tennis. Yeah. yeah. I called him up. And the name exactly, the first name is the second name for my sister's song. It's not. In for Warsaw. Mm -hmm. The same, not the same. Well. It's a, a cantor in the synagogue. Mm. And they can find him. Invite me, I call him later in, uh, in New York and he Ah, what I can tell you. Levertov, there you are. It's a nice book. Nice people killed. So did you know any of the Zemmels when you were in um, in Lublin? What do you mean? Did you, did you, your mom's Lublin? family? Sure. Uh, I find Sylvie. Mm -hmm. Sylvie brings me over. <laughs> I remember my mom's name is Zemmel and her brother lived in Philadelphia. Yosel Zemo. Mm -hmm. Service Father. Yeah. I wrote a letter to the Hayas. You know what's the Hayas now? No. After the war, the Jewish Congress in America have Hayas to bring people over. Okay. I called him up. No, I sent him a letter, you know, have telephones. After the war, and I get a letter, that's you, <coughs> Uncle Lip, in Philadelphia, give me the address, everything. And this I contact with him. And uh, Siri brings me over. I remember. In my parents' house, has a, a little apartment. Uh, it's a cider, you know, it's a cider that the book was you going to say. A cider, okay. Yeah. Of the last page sheet, you have the atlas for Yosel Zemo. It is, after the war, you know, find the street. And uh, I remember Yosel Zemo, Philadelphia, I find him. The Jewish family service sent somebody to my uncle here. He talked with him and later passed away, my uncle. At 72 years old. Had to get a house at Sylvie's father. Mm -hmm. And this way I come over here. Yeah. And then my mom is born in Lebatov, the Bartov of yep. Polish. And uh, I have other uncle, Shia, the name. Mm -hmm. Shia is a uh, Lived around Lublin, is born in Lebatov. Mm -hmm. As a very, very Orthodox Jew and lived in a village not so far from Lublin. I have honey, you know, the 
a, a healthy uh, the bee make well, the honey. Yeah, honey. Yeah. They have the business. Okay. And uh, then our other sister, Laya. I I never remember contacts too much. Lived outside to Lublin. I once in a while consult my parents. I mm. once in a while. I have a year, every half year. My uncle want have a kosher chicken come to Lublin. He sent me to the Shoichet. Mm-hmm. You know such a yeah. 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 fanatic people. Ah. Just I remember. Give the breakfast, sure. I have to have uh, good breakfast. I, I just say, I just say. You go eat. <laughs> well, she yeah. has to go eat. May you read some? Maybe She's a you find it. Yeah. Maybe you find it some family yeah. here. Not a ruddy way you can find, sure. Nah. You try. Mm. Okay. Uh, Thank you. So, did you know about the Zemmels in New Jersey, or just, or just uh, Joseph? No, I did not meet nobody here. Look, beautiful people. Yep. Beautiful people. Because, because Sylvia knew about my other. I mean, my, I mean, my grandfather she, and the other. She, she know better the farmer. Yeah. He. Yeah. No, her brother uh, Menashe Zemel. Yep. Passed away. He. They had all the brother. Uh, nice people. Uh, uh, one woman, a few years ago, Do you know who Menashe's father was? What father? M- Menashe's father. It was Sylvia's father. Joseph? Yeah. Yasso. Yeah, but I thought that your mother's... Wasn't her father Menashe or...? No. They, her father Menashe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what... His... Because my mother tell me in 1914, born before me, yep. a boy, the name is Menashe. And then the eight year old passed away. Hunger, divorce, the first four, two Menashe. You have a lot of animals. Now I'm so young, can divorce. Yep. Now, how I say, it's a long story. <laughs> Every two weeks. Uh, Nineteen. I think so. The seventh of September, the journey come to Lublin. Ah. Uh, 
it'd be two weeks, three weeks later, I'd walk on the street and this gentleman catch me in the camp. He says, not a regular camp, he says, a former barrack in the Polish army, a whole day the, the people. Not only the Jewish, a whole day in Lublin, you have a Catholic university. These students killed the first German with Kuntin, killed him. And later, the German take the students to the camp. Oh. You understand? <laughs> I can tell you. This is not a one time to tell you everything, sis. Mm. My parents is killed in 1942. Hitler made the Aget of Lublin. He take the Lubartov and around mm. a Lublin, every Jew to, to Lublin, and make a ghetto. The town is called Maida. Laid in this place, not so far, make the concentration of Maida. They're all Jews there. After the war, I find out a girl was born with me in the same building, lived not so far where I live after the fall in Poland. I take the boss and I went to her. She went, uh, she escaped from Lublin to Ukraine, to Polish Ukraine. A Hitler come there, and she worked there. She papers, she's Polish, Catholic. She looked blonde, blue eye, a very smart, beautiful girl. And the German take every Jew, and the name is Kovalas, a little uh, town, a little city, Kovel. Every June of one place, and take it to her. And she said, This time you have in the camp Jewish police. No, not guns, not nothing. You understand? What yeah. And she said, I want policeman. Listen, I have Polish papers. I said, I can't do nothing. You see, my wife, my children, my father, and I can help him. And I go to the concentration, it's somewhere in there. Yeah. In the meantime, our officer come to push a woman. Said she's not Jewish, she she makes a mistake, she come to show the paper. She get out of here. And um, she saved her life, she going back to Lublin. And Lublin, the ghetto, a big ghetto, is a, is a restaurant. Only for the German officers. Isn't this ghetto work doctors, professors, mm -hmm. to save their life? Clean the potatoes. She worked there like a very beautiful girl, you know. A one German officer tell her, the name is Chai in Jewish, a court in Paul Heller. Then, from the time the German go killed everybody, I could save you the life. A German officer, because she get him good food, you know. In 1942 to 14 of, of October, her brother lived me in a one room and wake her up. Hell of that, all get us on fire. Five o'clock in the morning, bring up to get the middle people. Yeah. Who done this? Litvin, the Litvin and Ukraine. So uh, work together with the. She 
This is Colton Poland. Now nah, it's Colton Poland. She jumped in on in one shoes to the restaurant. She think she got saved to life. Yep. Everybody's dead. And the German officer comes in and throw it down in the basement. There's potatoes in the restaurant. Yep. Don't go out of here. I go save you the life. A German officer. <laughs> And the Germany went with dogs, every houses, everything. Yeah. And uh, in this Germany, right out, the bazook in Germany, it just mean I look over over it, nobody's there. She stayed there three days. The Germany bring the bread every day. She's cold. But potatoes is wet. She's not one shirt. This is in Poland, and this time it's cold, very mm -hmm. cold. And uh, one day I come to her and bring the water, wash your face. I will take you out from here. And I come back in a half hour. In the meantime, it's in the same cellar, basement, is a brother and a sister, Jewish, and the hell had saved the life of me too. No, the German continued, she tell him, she tell him, 